That's where we're finding where those blues and reds come together. That is a couplet. That is where there could be the possibility of a tornado. A rotation tool. Normally, I would want to see something else here. Uh, maybe another green or yellow dot, but it kind of goes along uh, the lines with the with the uh, uh, excuse me with the the velocity mode of the potential for rotation. I knew I'd get it out eventually. So Monroe and Arkansas counties, once again, a tornado warning has been issued. 12:15 tonight. It's a radar indicated tornado. I'm going to go back over to live winds on Max One. And you know what? It, it's a little bit better on Max One if you want to take that shot, Roger. And I can zoom in a little bit. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a really tight. Here's DeWitt right there. And so it's riding along 165 south of 153. So that would be the area of concern with this severe thunderstorm. If you live in Arkansas County near DeWitt, then you need to take shelter immediately, get into your safe place. Looks like folks that are going to be in the path of that Ethel, Arkansas, you're going to be in the path of this possible tornado. Again, nothing confirmed, but it's been an interesting evening from the standpoint of Southeast Arkansas showing the most potential for tornadoes. Central Arkansas really just had more hail and strong wind gusts. So that's why we guess we've still got that tornado watch in effect until two o'clock in the morning. Although the severe weather threat looks like it's going to be coming to an end here in central Arkansas. Uh, good, good looking shot there of the couplet. Once again, it's now just or at least the area of rotation is now just to the southeast of DeWitt. And this is the area that I'm talking about. Let me see if I can pick it up using something else here. Um, that base velocity storm track 11. Now, uh, yeah, so we're just far enough from the radar. It might pick it up. But then again, it's, it's far away, far enough away to where it may not. But we are picking up a good amount of rotation with that particular uh, severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. The other byproduct is hail. We've had reports of big hail all night. You can see the hail core there that's riding along into the west of DeWitt. But the area of greatest concern within our live winds mode is that couplet right there. There's DeWitt and it would be not quite um, west of Ethel. Let me put a little storm track on it. The storm is moving along to the east at 35. Uh, Ethel's in, in the path. The White River National Refuge is going to be in the path of this. And they're, they're really they're shrinking that box. They just took it down a little bit to really highlight and pinpoint where that is located. South of Highway 17 and right now to the east of 165. There's Ethel. Ethel would be in the path of this uh, potential tornado. You can go ahead and take, take it full if you don't mind. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer. And uh, there you go. I don't know what happened. It just left me for a second there. Okay. Um, hmm. Tornado warned storm till 1215 tonight or tomorrow morning for Monroe County and Arkansas County. For some reason, my computer just kicked off and I, that's not good. Let's go back to let's go back to Storm Track 11 because I, I think we got a better idea on Storm Track 11 of the rotation using the, the tool if we can. And you can pop it up behind me here. There, well, we're getting it. Um, the wind is not in the path of it. It looks like the storm's just now to the east of DeWitt. So that's certainly some good news. But bad news if you live in Ethel, Arkansas, because that's where we're finding the potential for the strongest rotation. These storms tonight have had a history of producing some hail. What in the world is going on? My computer is, is acting up on me tonight, folks, and I do apologize there. East Central Arkansas County. So Monroe County has been removed. I believe it's just not East Central Arkansas County. And I promised to get it together. My, for some reason, my mouse on my keyboard wasn't working for me real well. All right, so that's a little bit better. This is, here comes your live wind mode here. DeWitt is in Arkansas County. There is the tight couplet, which would indicate the strong rotation. Uh, this storm is riding along and south of 17. Ethel is going to be in the path of this storm. If we want to go back to Max 1, we can show that. Ethel is uh, just to the east of DeWitt 
and there it is right there. If there's any kind of uh, rotation, then it's west of you right now, Ethel, and it's uh, holding steady, holding strong, moving to the east. A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for Jefferson and Grant counties, other counties with other warnings, but this is the one that we are most concerned about right now with the potential of producing a tornado. Hail now, let's go and uh, find out if we have any hail. The hail core with this storm uh, still a bit to the west, but it's there. It looks like it's going to be anywhere from ping pong to golf ball sized hail. We have had reports of one inch hail and larger with these storms tonight, and they really are a little more potent here in southeast Arkansas this evening. All right, I'm going to try to put a storm track on this, so bear with me just a second. Movement is to the east at about 40 miles per hour. Uh, Catron, Catron, Arkansas, Mary Spur, uh, Countess, Elaine, and Wabash. And that's going to cross over the Mississippi River. So a few smaller communities there in eastern Arkansas in the path of this tornado worn storm. Movement is to the east at about 40 miles per hour. Again, tonight's been fairly active. We've had a few severe thunderstorm warnings and a couple of tornado warnings. And folks, that's about it. I uh, had hoped that the National Weather Service by midnight would eliminate the need for the tornado watch, but they're probably keeping it just because of what's happening here in Arkansas County. All right, severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Jefferson and Grant counties. Let me go back over here and pull up Max. Uh, I'm sorry, pull up Storm Track 11. The storm clusters are now in southeast Arkansas, where they're a little stronger, and it's just that little swath there to the southeast of DeWitt in Arkansas County. Uh, was a part of Monroe County, but they have carved it back to, to Arkansas. Next stop is going to be moving into Phillips County, I believe, once it leaves Arkansas County, yeah, Phillips County, Monroe, uh, Arkansas, yeah. And in, yeah, into Phillips County. But uh, tornado warning, you know, nothing confirmed, just a radar indicated tornado possible there in Arkansas County. It's going to move into Phillips County here very shortly and communities that are in the path that uh, are to the east of DeWitt, Ethel, Arkansas, along Highway 17, Highway 153, if those, if you're able to catch us there, that's where the storm is located now. The update radar update puts the circulation, the area of rotation, pretty much near the community of Ethel. Going to keep it here. National Weather Service keeping that warning going tonight. They've been keeping a close eye on that storm as it has uh, progressed and gotten stronger and could possibly be producing some very large hail, if not some very heavy rainfall with these storms. And the storms have really congealed and come together out of the east of Little Rock tonight. Uh, this is uh, in an area that is under a tornado watch. And now Arkansas County is under a tornado warning for that area that is east of DeWitt. You got a lot of rural farmland out here, but there's some folks that live out there. That is going to take and cruise over into Phillips County here very shortly, probably within the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. Uh, again, if we go back to Max 1, I'll show you what we're looking at, the couplets, you know, the reds and oranges toward and away. And uh, you've got winds that are away here of about 60 to 80. The winds blowing toward radar probably around the 40 mile per hour range. But right here's Ethel, south of Ethel, there's Highway 153 and also Highway 17. Until 1215, East Central Arkansas County. Again, let me just provide you with, uh, it's a radar indicated tornado. You've got radar indicated, you've got radar confirmed, and, and then it, it escalates from there. So far, this is just uh, radar indicated, and it is going to be moving into the White River National Wildlife Refuge here once it gets beyond Ethel, Arkansas. Okay, I'm going to take us back to radar on the, just uh, from the standpoint of seeing what else is out there tonight. Uh, it's been a little noisy in some places. The storms have managed to find their way into southeast Arkansas. Some of them have been strong to severe. The ones that really stick out, that cluster here in east central Arkansas, that includes that tornado worn storm in Arkansas County near Ethel. But notice everything else is, I'd say, don't want to say quiet, more tranquil 
back to the northwest, eastern Arkansas with a few cells. And uh, we're just watching those storms tonight, watching storms in eastern Arkansas, Arkansas County, Monroe County, severe thunderstorm warning, as well as Phillips, and I believe that is Lee County with severe thunderstorm warnings at this time. Winds in excess of 60 plus miles per hour, hail a quarter sized or even larger is possible. Let's go back to storm track 11, and uh, I will, once again, we'll put a little bit of a, of a wind mode here on this. And there's that area there. We're, we're in an area where we don't pick up a whole lot of communities, but we can see that, yeah, there could be something here. Here's your box, that's your polygon. Here's the county line, Phillips County here. This is Arkansas County. Van, DeWitt, Ethel is also in this area. This is south of St. Charles, by the way, for those of you wanting to know a little bit more about where the positioning is. St. Charles, Arkansas is north of where the main area of rotation is located tonight. The cell's moving to the east at 40 or 35 miles per hour and will be moving over the White, uh, the White River Wildlife Refuge if it already hasn't done so. It's the White River's right here. This is Phillips County. Uh, tornado warning once again in effect for Arkansas County till 1215 tonight. Yeah, there's some folks out there and who knows where if you know where Gillette and Tishner are, you're probably getting some strong wind gusts. The main area of concern for you if you live in Tishner and you're picking us up tonight is north of you and northeast of you. Kind of tough to see that. I'm going to go to our Enrot product. And if there's anything at all, it's where that blue blob is located. It's getting closer to moving into Phillips County. As soon as it moves into Phillips County, we'll jump off. Uh, Phillips County is the Memphis viewing area, and that's their responsibility. So we'll hold on to it. I guess it'll be moving across here about 1215 tonight. Numerous reports of hail with these severe thunderstorms. Severe weather season continues here in Arkansas. Second tornado warning of the night. Everything else has been severe thunderstorm warnings, and it's for hail and some damaging wind gusts. But as you look at uh, the statewide, let's go back to Max 1. The action is in southeast Arkansas. We still have a severe thunderstorm warning for part of Grant County into Jefferson County and a couple of uh, stronger cells down around Cleveland County. Those cells are strong but not severe and a few more little popcorn storms popping up there just to the south of that boundary. Tornado watch remains in effect tonight for Polk. I'm just going to show, show the counties that are under those watches real quick. It's uh, and maybe well, severe thunderstorm watch has now been issued for southeast Arkansas. OK, that must have just come down just a few minutes ago. A few. Yeah, tornado watch has been canceled for Celine, Montgomery, Garland, Polk and Pulaski. But a severe thunderstorm watch is now in effect for Cleveland, Arkansas, Dallas, Lincoln, Grant, uh, Deshaies, Bradley counties. Tornado watch continues for Prairie, Monroe, Woodruff and Lone Oak. Huh? So Pulaski is out, but Lono County is still in, and I think it's because there is a cell that is awfully close to Lono County. I'm going to have to bring this up a little bit better for us all to look at here. Give me just a second, uh, Roger. I'm going to pull up. Um, oh, it is on Max 2? Yeah, Max 2 is a good place to go if you want to pull it up. There we go. Yeah, there are the counties. Uh, these counties, Little Rock. Responsibility, Woodruff, Lone Oak, Prairie, Monroe, and there are the counties that have been included in a severe thunderstorm watch. I didn't get the timing on that. That just came down. Uh, severe thunderstorm watch. There's the new watch, and it's going to last. Uh, if I could find the time on it. Okay. Canceled tornado watch. Okay, it's actually a severe thunderstorm watch until 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. So severe storms are still possible here in this part of the state. They could produce some damaging wind and uh, some large hail. But the tornado threat for all intents and purposes has ended now for Pulaski, for Saline, for Hot Spring, for Montgomery, Garland and Polk counties. But we still have the possibility of of a tornado watch uh, that continues for a couple of three more counties in Arkansas's viewing area in central Arkansas. That would be Lone Oak, Prairie, Monroe and Woodruff counties. All right, so this cell is getting close to the Phillips County line if it's producing anything at all. And uh, we haven't heard anything from National Weather Service. They're going to keep it or cancel it. Okay, the tornado warning has now been canceled. It just came down. 
a few minutes ago. Okay, so the tornado warning has been canceled. That's certainly some good news, but we got a chance to also view that a tornado watch has uh, been issued and a severe thunderstorm watch as well. So there we go. It's 1156. We're going to take you back to our programming at THV 11, and uh, I'm here to keep an eye on things. Uh, do a little radar babysitting. That's what I call it tonight to keep you safe. So we'll send it back to after midnight, I believe, and we'll return if we get more tornado warnings.